Weather Rate Certified Most Accurate Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. And what a way to end the work week. Sunshine temperatures today climbing into the upper 70s. Out right ahead of the front, we've got those big changes coming our way. We've been talking about that all week long. But right now, look at the beautiful conditions. Skies are starting to fill up with some of the clouds. Once again, that's our live Centex seamless gutter sky tracker right here in Woodway. That is Highway 84 looking pretty good. These temperatures, again, are well above average. Not records, but above our 59 degrees. That's our average high. We're at 72 in Waco. 74 in Temple, 75 in Colleen. Temperatures are in the low to mid 70s in the Brazos Valley. And look at that. Comanche checks in right at 78 degrees. Our satellite loop shows the clouds starting to thicken across our area. So skies becoming mostly cloudy. And there's the cold front we are talking about. And behind that cold front, much, much chillier air. Also, very, very windy conditions. And matter of fact, the National Weather Service has posted a wind advisory that starts later on tonight, runs throughout the day tomorrow for everybody. We're talking winds maybe about 20 to 40 miles per hour sustained. Could see some wind gusts, especially west of I-35, as high as 50 miles per hour. So again, this is no joke here with this wind moving through. So let's take a look at what it uh, appears to be here with our future cast. Midnight, the front knocking on the door. So that's when the front's going to move through. Our winds will change back to the north and to the west. But these are sustained winds behind that. We're talking sustained winds around 30 miles per hour in the Gatesville area. As the front slides down to our south and to our east, this is 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You'll be waking up to... Uh, uh, winds between about 20 and 30, 35 miles per hour here across our area. That's not including gusts. Gusts could be 40 to 50 miles per hour, depending on where you are. As we go throughout the morning, again, sustained winds around 30 miles per hour out of the northwest by the afternoon, just as windy. And it looks like by Saturday night, though, we start to see those winds kind of subside just a little bit here across the region. So on Sunday, we're still talking maybe some breezy conditions, but nothing like what we're going to see tomorrow, about 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then throughout the day on Sunday, roughly 10 to 20 miles per hour uh, will do it. But the uh, winds actually starting to calm down by late Sunday night. But remember, we've got High winds in the forecast, dry conditions, which makes the low humidity, the relative humidity will be under 15%. High fire danger right along I-35 and then areas back off to the west. Kind of keep that in mind. Again, if you get those wind gusts around 50 miles per hour, and again, this is a dry front, meaning there's no precipitation associated with that. Uh, these wildfires could get out of hand in a hurry. So again, no burning uh, right now here across the region. Tonight's forecast, skies are becoming mostly cloudy, very windy conditions as that wind advisory kicks in later on tonight, 35 degrees. Those winds will turn to the northwest. 25 to 30 miles per hour around midnight as it moves across the area. And then tomorrow, you know, high temperatures will occur very early in the morning, but uh, daytime highs will be in the low to middle 40s, but you factor in the north wind at 30 to 35. We're talking wind chills tomorrow, maybe in the upper 20s to the lower 30s. So definitely heavier coats needed tomorrow. You're going to see a lot of sunshine out there, but don't let that fool you. It is going to be some cold sunshine. As we look ahead, this is the long range 10 day forecast. 56 degrees on Sunday. You notice those nighttime lows in the uh, mid to upper 20s, so a little on the chilly side. And then we start to warm it back up. Our next front moves through on Wednesday. Uh, that'll start to bring some colder air in. Temperatures only in the 40s on Thursday. Maybe even a slate shower there on Friday. 45 degrees. And then next weekend, we're back into the 50s for high temperatures. And then down toward Bryan and College Station. Again, very, very windy conditions tomorrow. Temperatures falling with that front moving through. 54 degrees on Sunday. Next week, we warm it up on Tuesday and Wednesday into the 70s. Here comes the front, brings us a chance of rain and some uh, cooler air Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So 